I put together this circuit to demonstrate a capacitor passing alternating current but blocking direct current. A demonstration circuit. This isn't a circuit you would uh, probably ever really see. But uh, to demonstrate this effect, first thing we're going to do is hit the switch. So now we're powering the circuit. And if you notice, that LED kind of came on, but uh, then it went out. Right now, the capacitor is keeping the current from going through this part of the circuit, whereas the direct current continues going through there. But now, if I turn the switch on and off, you can see that uh, one of these LEDs is turned backwards from the other, so that current can flow both ways. Is This part of the circuit, we have current that's alternating as I hit the switches. But still, this LED stays on, even though the brightness is changing. That's mostly due to the voltage drop of uh, these two LEDs. But current continues going through here, as long as the switch is on most of the time. Now, to make the circuit even better, I can just remove these LEDs and then put the uh, capacitor directly to ground. Now you see it hardly changes when I uh, release the switch and so the direct current's even better. Right now the capacitor's blocking direct current from going through it but it's letting alternating current go through it. And that's what's keeping the LED on actually. As the capacitor charges or and discharges, it keeps the current flowing through this part of the circuit. So the whole point of this demonstration circuit was uh, just to clarify, you often hear that capacitors block direct current but pass alternating current. So you saw this part of the circuit that depends on the capacitor conducting was alternating. The LEDs are backwards from each other so one turns on when it conducts one way and then the other one turns on when it conducts the other way. Now the rest of the circuit though that was the direct current part. The battery's direct current and so there was always current going through here when the switch was closed because of the capacitor blocking the current. This was the only path it could have once the capacitor got a full voltage. And then the capacitor also kept the current going for a short time when we released the circuit. That's a major use of the capacitor to smooth out voltage differences. But uh, the main point of this circuit was to show that the alternating current was able to move in the part of the circuit that the capacitor is in. And it also blocked the direct current. When we held the switch down, the current couldn't go through the capacitor, it was blocking it. 